got a message yesterday from a guy and he told me that he has an entire turtle pond that he doesn't want anymore. And he has two turtles. I'm gonna be heading up north right now and we're gonna be transferring this entire turtle pond to my house. I think it's about 150 gallons. Here we have the entire turtle pond. You can see it's fully planted, full of water plants. I don't know where these turtles are. Let's see if we can find some of them. Okay, there's one right in here. Guys, check it out. Check how cool this little spotted turtle is. To drain it, all you have to do is twist this. Let's see if we can, there we go. Nice and easy, just like this. What is going on everyone? And welcome back to another episode. So I got a message yesterday from a guy and he told me that he has an entire turtle pond that he doesn't want anymore. And he has two turtles. Uh, one of them's a little bit skinny, he told me. So he's just gonna give me this entire pond. It's pretty big. So I'm gonna be heading up north right now and we're gonna be transferring this entire turtle pond to my house. I think it's about 150 gallons. It's got a, like a dry area where he can, with a, uh, it's got a dry area where the turtles can come out and they can sun. And it's also full of water plants from what I hear. And it's like about, I don't know, I think it's like seven feet long. I am extremely excited to be getting this pond because some of my turtles outside, they're getting bigger. It's getting a little crowded. So this is gonna be a great upgrade where I can put a bunch of turtles in this because what they're in right now is like, it's probably like 45 gallons in it. This is 150 gallons. It's a massive upgrade. I cannot wait to get this. So when we get there, we're gonna have to drain this entire pond out. It's full of water, 150 gallons. But I think from what he told me, there's like a little drain that you can unscrew. Water's gonna go out. It is full of water plants from what I've seen. He sent me a picture and it just looks incredible. It's ready to go. So we're gonna get over there. We're gonna drain the pond. We're gonna load it in the truck. I'm hoping it fits. I have like a mid-sized truck, so I don't know if it's gonna fit, but hopefully it does. Guys, we are on the way right now to go rescue these turtles. It's looking like it's gonna rain. I'm hoping it's not. So we're about five minutes away. So hopefully we can get to those turtles in time before it starts raining. We gotta transfer this entire pond and yay, there's traffic. Guys, we have arrived now. We are getting ready to go check out this little turtle pond that we're gonna be taking to the house. We're gonna be transferring the whole thing. Hopefully we don't have to take the dirt out, but here's the pond right Guys, here. Guys, here we have the entire turtle pond. You can see it's fully planted, full of water plants. I don't know where these turtles are. Let's see if we can find some of them. Okay, there's one right in here. Come here, come here, no. Guys, check it out. Check how cool this little spotted turtle is. This is one of the turtles that's coming with it. I think this is the one that doesn't have a leg. Look at him, it's missing a foot. I don't know how that happened, but this thing's like 40 years old. And this whole thing is just full of life. It's got plants down here, wood, it's got a full drain. So we're gonna drain this pond now and then we're gonna load it into the truck. Guys, the easiest part about this is to drain it. All you have to do is twist this. So this right here is so in the summertime when it's raining constantly, the thing doesn't overflow, the turtles don't get out, the water will come up to here and drain right out the bottom. Let's see if we can, there we go. Nice and easy, just like this. This thing's probably about 150 gallons or so. Real nice pond. These turtles are gonna be loving their new mansion. Voila. Look at that, it's draining right out the bottom, nice and easy. Awesome. So this thing is a little bit warped right here. You can see it's bowing out. Some turtles sometimes can get out. So once this thing is totally drained, we're gonna actually build a wooden frame around it just so it holds this plastic right here in place. You know, right now it's really hard to push it. It's full of water. It's got a ton of pressure on it, but once it's drained, it will be no problem. So check out how cool this is. This thing has been set up for about 10 years is what I'm being told. So this little wood piece is like burrows way down in here so these turtles can go in there. So there's actually two females in here. There is a male that's somewhere out here. The water got a little too high. The plants were growing up and he hopped out and he's been gone for a couple months now. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. So hopefully it turns up, it's the rainy season. He should turn up, he could be anywhere here. 
check out how cool this little pond is right here. It's got all kinds of little fish, plants. You know, I'm not a big pond guy. I'm just getting into this ponds with plants, so I couldn't tell you what kind of plants these are. What a mission that was, getting this thing completely drained out. Look at this. We got the wood. We got it strapped down. We got it drained. We have our turtles in here. We have a three-stripe musk turtle, two American spotted turtles, insanely beautiful, and an apple snail. This snail will be like cleanup crew inside there. Any turtle food that they don't eat, that thing will make a good meal out of it. Oh, hello. You're cool. So... We're going to have to take a nice slow drive home so this thing doesn't fall out or move. It shouldn't, but let's go. Guys, so I just got back home from rescuing these turtles. It's like 9 o'clock at night. We got, the, we got the carport all lit up. We have our pond right here. So we have the plants. We got the rocks, the wood. Now all we got to do is unload it. So the turtles that I have right now, they're still in my truck. I'm going to be setting them up right now. So I'm going to show you guys that. It's just a little temporary overnight setup until we can get them inside this tub. Got some water lettuce right here. And this pond is just absolutely filled with all kinds of life. Look at this wood. It's got this moss, these underwater plants. I really don't know what plants these are. Cool plants. And then there's all kinds of little creatures that are living inside this muck. Look at this muck. Let me smell this. It actually doesn't smell like anything. It looks like poop, but it smells like nothing. Guys, I got this pond completely unloaded. You can see we were able to do it. We were able to keep it fully planted. It's super cool. It's got all these little these little huts in here. It's, this thing has been set up for 10 years of life, bioactive. So a lot of that life is still gonna be alive inside this, inside this ook, inside this nasty sludge. I wanted to give you guys another look at how crazy these turtles are that were living in that sludge water. Look at these, these are North American spotted turtles, highly endangered because of how pretty they are. People like to go and steal them out of the wild and then sell them. Like, look at those crazy orange legs with the pink face and these beautiful all black shell with these yellow dots, just crazy turtles. So hopefully the male will show up, the one that went missing. This is the three-legged girl right here. Look at those legs, look at that head. These guys are crazy. And she's pretty underweight, guys. Look how skinny her legs are. Wow, we're gonna have to get this girl up to weight. We're gonna have to rehab her. Her spots are not as profound as the other one. I'm so stoked to have these. I've always wanted them. And to find an adult like this is crazy. I'm just so glad that we were able to rescue these turtles. So until I set up this big pond, I'm gonna set these guys up in a little plastic bin for now, just so they're nice and safe. They have a little place to swim around. This is just going to be overnight. I'm gonna fill it with water. It's plenty of space. Plus, they're gonna to go to sleep. So I, so I got the water all filled up for these little guys. Oh look, look at her tail. So she's actually got like a little nub tail. Her tail probably got nipped off. It doesn't affect him in any way. You can see this one is a perfect animal with that nice long tail. But honestly, I like the ones that are a little bit messed up. I like the ones that are, you know, missing its foot, nipped tail, just real unique. and. These guys are living dinosaurs, literally. That nip tail, that missing foot, doesn't affect her in any way whatsoever. And for the musk turtle and the snail, I'm just gonna leave them in here. I didn't wanna leave all three turtles in here and the snail, it's just gonna be a little too crowded. And if you guys are wondering what all this black stuff is, it's not poop, it's actually the nasty muck stuff from inside the pond. So if you look, it's just some of this. So don't worry, I'm not leaving these animals sitting in their poop, it's just the nasty mucks. I'm just gonna leave the muck in there and fill it up with water. They're only gonna be here overnight. First thing in the morning when I wake up, they're gonna get set up. So it is about 10 o'clock at night now. I got everything done that I needed to get done here. I got the tub unloaded, I got the plant situation, I got the wood, I got the turtle set up in here. So it is time to call it a night. I'm gonna go take a shower. It is, if any of you guys are from Miami, it is a million degrees here. It's 10 o'clock at night with 90% humidity. I'm dying in this long sleeve shirt. It's about 85 degrees out. It is brutal, but I wouldn't want it any other way. I'm not a fan of the cold. Guys, that is going to end part one of the turtle rescue video. Part two is gonna be the final setup and that's gonna be coming out very soon. So keep an eye out for that. If you do wanna watch part two and you're not subscribed yet, subscribe down below. It's the very first link. Trust me, you wanna be subscribed. We have some crazy stuff coming soon. It's gonna be amazing. If you like this video also, give it a thumbs up. And I need all of your guys' help. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, Go comment down below two girl names that I should name the two spotted turtles. 
I have no idea what to name them. So if you want a chance to name my turtles and be shouted out in the next video, go comment down below.